The learning objectives for TR-32 are understand and describe mathematical identities, state the three trigonometric reciprocal identities, describe what constitutes a sound proof of an identity, perform a simple proof. So, what is a mathematical identity? An identity is an equation with variables that's true for all values of the variables. For example, x raised to the a plus b power equals x to the a times x to the b. This is true for all values of x, a, and b. There's a special symbol to denote that the equation is actually an identity. Let me back up and explain again with a little more vocabulary in a way that might add some insight. Equations imply the equality of two expressions. It's easy to identify the two expressions of an equation because they're on opposite sides of the equal sign. While we're here, expressions are comprised of terms that are separated by a plus or minus sign. Equations usually need to be solved. This means answering the question, what variable values make the equation true? Some equations don't need to be solved because they're always true. These special equations are called identities. Here's our identity from earlier. The identity sign is supposed to be a clue that there's nothing to solve, that the equation is intended to be taken as an identity. But as it happens, more often than not, the identity symbol is not used, and equations are understood to be identities because we're told somewhere nearby that it is. But it's never wrong to use the identity symbol where appropriate. Equations are problems to be solved. Identities are tools to be used. And in trig class, the actual fact is, identities are assertions to be proven, using algebra and other identities. What are the three trigonometric reciprocal identities? You might find it helpful to list out the trig function names in the order we learned in TR-14. The first three are the SOHCAHTOA functions, sine, cosine, and tangent. The last three are the reciprocal functions for which we can define the reciprocal identities. Let's start with cotangent. Using our bridge technique, we can see that its reciprocal is tangent. And there we go, cotangent equals 1 over tangent. Next is secant. It goes with cosine. So secant equals 1 over cosine. Last is cosecant. It goes with sine. So cosecant equals 1 over sine. Each of these identities can be rewritten by taking the reciprocal of both sides. The first is cotangent equals 1 over tangent. So tangent also equals 1 over cotangent. Secant is 1 over cosine, so cosine must equal 1 over secant. Cosecant equals 1 over sine, so sine must equal 1 over cosecant. You can count these as three identities, or six, I guess. They're so easy, I just count them as three. But there are six sets of substitutions. For each of these identities, and all future identities will learn, you can always substitute one side of the identity for the other in an equation or proof, like we'll do in the last problem of this video. But first, what constitutes a sound proof of an identity? It must be a step-by-step -step mathematical transformation of one side of an equation until its expression equals the other side of the given equation, with a documented reason for each step. You should think of your proof as a recipe for someone else to follow to understand and duplicate the logic in your proof. Trigonometric proofs may not play a big part in your future, but the skill of formulating a logical and documented path of reasoning will serve you well in many ways, not just in trig or math. Here's another proof. Prove the identity secant theta times cosine theta times tangent theta times cotangent theta is 1. Let's start with a nice organized two-column grid. We'll put our statements in the left column and the reason for each statement in the right column. By the way, the left column and right column don't correspond to left-hand side or right-hand side expressions of the identity. All of our expression manipulations will occur in the left column, whether we're changing the left-hand side expression to be identical to the right-hand side 
or changing the right-hand side expression to be identical to the left-hand side. We usually choose the most complicated looking side to manipulate, and it could be the left-hand side or right-hand side expression. And in either case, we write it in the left column. The right column is always reserved for our reasons. Let's start by restating the side we intend to change. Our reason is given because this was given to us in the problem statement. Now, there's no prescribed course of action to follow. We'll cover some tips and strategies in future videos as we learn more identities. But getting everything we can in terms of SOHCAHTOA functions seems like a good way to start. So, one at a time, let's get rid of secant and cotangent. Secant equals 1 over cosine by identity. So let's substitute that and we get 1 over cosine theta times cosine theta times tangent theta times cotangent theta. Our line starts with an equal sign, but that's a shortcut to mean our statement is equal to left-hand side from the line above. The reason for this substitution is reciprocal of secant, or secant identity. A short message to your reader to let them know the justification for saying this line is equivalent to the last line. Now we have an expression with 1 over cosine theta times cosine theta, which we know we can simplify to 1, so we'll write that product as 1, and we can ignore it subsequently since it's a factor in a product. So we have 1 times tangent theta times cotangent theta. We have an identity that says cotangent theta equals 1 over tangent theta, so let's make that substitution. We end up with tangent theta times 1 over tangent theta, and our reason is reciprocal of cotangent, or cotangent identity. Finally, we know when we multiply reciprocals, tangent times 1 over tangent, we get 1. So our expression equals 1, and the reason for this step is multiply reciprocals. This expression equals the right-hand side of the problem statement, so we can declare in our last line that our expression equals the right-hand side, and we're finished.